Welcome to Robin's Roost. It is going to be a very hot day here in Minnesota. We're on a, a stretch, but I'm super pumped because we got two inches of rain last night and that meant that I could spend my time this morning here in my stamp room instead of dragging the garden hose around watering my plants because it's been really, really dry. So today we're going to be making a step card and you know, a lot of the step cards, you cut slits in the paper and, you know, pop it out. And I'm always a little bit, um, what's the word for it? They don't always turn out right for me. So I loved when I saw this design. So you do it with two card bases and, you know, no slitting and cutting and just much easier. And I've decided to make a sympathy card using the Night of Flight and, oh gosh, Seaside Bay. So let's flip the camera and I'll show you how to do this really easy card. So here are our supplies that we're going to need to make this step card. We're going to start with two card bases in um, Moody Mauve. One, the first one is four and a quarter by nine and then we've scored it at one and a quarter, two and a half, and five and three quarters. And I always have trouble with that three quarters one, remembering that one. And then we have the narrow strip that's going to go over the top. And this base is two and a half by eight and a half, scored at five and a half. That one's easier to remember. And then we have our matte layers in the um, copper clay. I really love this color. And these are one by four, three by four, and two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then we also have a piece of the bubble bath, which is another one of my favorite colors right now. And this one is two by five. We have some Earthen Elegance um, DSP layers, and these are three quarter by three and three quarters, and then two and three quarters by three and three fourths. And then I've also pulled in, this is just a scrap piece um, for the back of my flap of my envelope. And this is about two and a quarter by six. We also need a piece of basic white to stamp our, our uh, moth on. And this is just a scrap that was big enough for the moth that I've chosen. So I just kind of, you know, eyeballed it. So I'm doing this moth. We're using two different stamp sets because the um, the Night of Flight doesn't have any words on it. And I'm also using the greeting, the Heartfelt Sympathy from the Seaside Bay. We're going to be coloring the moth with Stampin' Blends. And I'm not quite sure yet which colors we're going to use, but I've chosen a few here. The Pecan Pie, the Copper Clay, the Moody Mauve, and then I'm not sure if we're going to use the Wild Wheat, but I've got, got that pulled in here too in case we need a, a, a lighter color somewhere in there. So we can go ahead and start by scoring our, burnishing our scores, I guess I should say. So there we have our, our little um, base. And we can go ahead and layer up our, let's see, I can sort it out here. And actually, I want to stamp the greeting right on here. So let's go ahead and pull in our pecan pie ink. So I want the greeting on the top and our butterfly is going to go across the, the bottom. So we'll go ahead and get him stamped. Hopefully I have that in the right spot because I want plenty of room for our butterfly to sit across there. Thank you. 
And I just realized, I forgot, we need a white layer for in here. So this is another three inch by four inch piece. And I'm not going to be putting anything on this one right now. This is the greeting area. You could maybe add another butterfly and a different greeting on the inside, but for right now, I'm just going to leave that one. Now we can go ahead and put our card base together and then finish our butterfly. You could do it in either, however you wanted. But what you're going to do is you're going to line up the bottom of this base, and this is the long side, right on the bottom edge of the, the big base. You could use liquid glue. I'm using Stampin' Seal Plus here today. So you want a, a real um, firm glue because it's going to hold the two pieces of the base together. You want to burnish it down good and then just flip it over and you're going to adhere this piece right on the back. So I'm just going to put some more stamp and seal plus here. And it looks like I don't quite have it centered but you'll get your centered when you do it, right? So now we're going to do our butterfly. So we're going to take our um, memento ink because we're going to be using the Stampin' Blends and you wanna always use the, um, the memento ink for that so they don't, so it doesn't bleed in with your markers. Now I haven't colored this guy before that I remember. So let's see what we come up with. Let's start with the pecan in the dark. And we'll make the big part of his wings. And we are going to have to cut this with the scissors because this, um, this is actually a hostess set. And there is not a, um, a die set that goes with it. And we're going to come back in with the light. Then let's come in with our copper and do the head and these back. Um, I'm going to bring in some mauve. And then we'll come back in with the light copper. And I don't think we'll be using any of the um, the wheat on this one. I kind of like him the way he is. You could maybe do a little bit more highlighting if you wanted. And then I like to give my, my butterflies just a hint of um, Wink of Stella. I'm making this one as a sympathy card, so maybe you wouldn't have to do the glitter on it, but I just like to have a little bit of shine on my butterflies. Sorry for the dog barking. We have um, an, just an overabundance of uh, rabbits this year, so she's looking out the window barking at the rabbits out in the yard, eating my gardens.
Whew, I'm not sure why, but that was torture this morning. Usually, um, I don't have that big a problem. Fussy cutting, but I think I haven't got enough coffee in me yet. So then we're going to raise him up with some dimensionals. Maybe just three should do him. And there, and it stands. I don't know how I can show you how it stands. You can kind of see it from the side. There's the front. And then we'll go ahead and do our, our flapper. Woo! I'm just gonna use liquid glue for this. And this piece of the DSP that I cut here has like two ends with the branches and then this middle part that's kind of plain. So I'm actually using the plain middle part. I'm just gonna lay that on there. And then go ahead and flip it over and cut off the excess. So it kind of gives our, our card a little extra elegance with the um, Earthen Elegance Designer Series paper. And then you can, you know, you can also stamp your, your butterfly um, on your envelope if you want. And I'm going to do him in the pecan pie. And this is kind of silly, but I've kept my... Um, my paper here clean so I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper okay. and I just want like a little hint of him not the whole butterfly or moth I guess these are moths so to get the um, the hostess set let me pull it in here again to show you the um, the night of flight when your order reaches $150, you will start to earn hostess rewards. And there are sets in the back of each of the catalogs um, that are hostess only sets. So the only way you can get them is to buy them with hostess rewards. And they're always like half price. So you would use, and I don't have it in front of me right now, but say this stamp set is worth $30. You would use 15 of your hostess reward dollars to purchase it. So it's always a great bargain and kind of special. Um, I like to collect them. So here is our Night of Flight step card. Hope you enjoyed. I'll have my, um, my link to my um, store here at the bottom in case you want to purchase any of the supplies used here or anything else for that matter. I'd appreciate your um, patronage. Thanks for stopping by at the roost.